Just imagine in 20 cities around the country, over 130 chefs, 20 cookbook authors, 40 artisanal vendors and educators are going to be working and cooking. Your lunch is cooking. Teaching Americans about great cooking and great eating. And it's all because of Taste America and the James Beard Foundation. This year, the James Beard Foundation celebrates its 20th anniversary, and we're so excited to be here tonight at the Four Seasons for the launch of our Taste America 20 City Food Festival around the country. James Beard was part of us in the very beginning, so to have the startup, the kickoff uh, event here is the best. We're, we're thrilled. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Beautiful. Taste America is bringing 130 chefs together to celebrate the American cuisine. I think it's an incredible sense of community around the country. You're not just in one city, you're all over, but you're celebrating the same thing. Philadelphia is celebrating its love of food. And Atlanta is one of 20 cities across the nation. The dinner that we're going to have uh, in Miami is Yes, that's happening next weekend here in San Francisco. Hey, we like food. We love food. How come we weren't invited to that? <laughs> Are you guys ready? It's a camera. The, um, okra. What the James Beard Foundation has done is said it's okay to be American. It's great to cook American, and this is what we can do today. Uh, our menu tonight is really representative of America. We have a uh, caviar that we bring in from California. We're using uh, Elysian Fields Farm lamb tonight, a local producer from Waynesburg. Phenomenal. We have all kinds of stuff on the menu tonight, uh, using a lot of local ingredients. We're all good. Taste of America is what we're all about out here in California. The mix of chefs tonight that are preparing the meal really defines what America is. It, it's, it's so many different influences that come together at the table, and I think that uh, the guests are going to have quite a ride tonight. This is like a good example of a sashimi. is a Japanese traditional style of fish. However, I use olive oil. I use lemon lime zest. Heaven. The lamb's tongue tacos with chilled pink salsa and the slaw is really the marriage of what we do in southern Arizona and flavors from Mexico, and that's all what America's about. I think the Beard Foundation really helps recognize women, and that's been very helpful to our industry. Cooking with so many great female chefs here tonight in San Francisco posed a challenge as what would be an appropriate dessert and would also reflect our dedication to American cuisine tonight. So I'm doing chocolate pudding. Individually, you're in your restaurants and you're cooking away, and, and there's not a lot of room for interaction and sharing of experiences and recipes. And the James Beard Foundation brings everybody together so we're that much closer and we can really share experiences and ideas. I think the James Beard Foundation is significant mainly because it's bringing an appreciation for great food, regional food, and bringing the whole level of education and awareness up in America. You know, you can toil all day long in the kitchen, but when you've been recognized by the Beard Foundation, it definitely gives you a feeling that you're doing something right. weekend is September 28th and 29th. People can walk into William Sonoma stores and get educated about good cooking and also what the James Beard Foundation is and why James Beard is so important to the American culinary heritage. How are you? Wonderful. I think it's a great thing that the James Beard Foundation is, is still working in the way of cooking schools and so forth and encouraging people to learn how to cook. Bon James Beard award-winning chefs will be doing cooking demonstrations. There'll be artisanal vendors offering tastings. Would you like a beef? There'll be cookbook signings, and there'll also be an educational activity for children in all the stores. 
We worked with several nutritionists to create a 16-page mini-magazine for children called Taste America for Kids. We want to educate the future foodies of America. It's all about farm-to-table, understanding where our harvest food comes from. What else is good for you? Tomato. Tomato. I brought my daughter Christina, who's seven years old, and we learned about the importance of eating foods that don't have the effects of pesticides or growth hormones. Those are some big birds. What is the taste of America? So many flavors. Watermelon. <laughs> I think a pie from the south. Corn and some apples. Southern fried chicken. Clam chowder. Raw cheddar. It's uh, crab in Maryland. It's uh, barbecue in Memphis. To me, the taste of America is fresh. Abundance, generosity. We have, in this country, such a diverse dining community, such distinct cuisines, to be able to bring them all together under one roof and call it Taste America is an ingenious idea.